Hi everyone, it's Wendy Spanish Crafter here. Welcome to Spain. I was asked on a comment in my last video about the fastener that I used for an envelope and uh, it's this sort of thing with a circle and you use a brad to uh, attach a piece of card and then that just swings and you can you know to flip it over the flap of the envelope uh, so I've made a few there I've done some small ones and this is with a let me just see the size of the punch Ooh, nearly dropped it sorry if I can find it there that's three quarter of an inch punch and these are made with a one inch punch look very different sizes don't they that is it's just about one inch so it doesn't actually say on it anywhere I don't think anyway they're the two punches that I've used and this is just some Amazon packaging which I trim off on my trimmer to give me a straight line and I do them about I'll just cut a few and just measure them and show you they are about four centimeters that one's four and a half and then I use my corner rounder just to um, round the edges that go over the flap just to make it look a bit nicer then I use my inker to shabby it up a little bit very easy to do this I got this idea from G uh, at happiness and crafting and I shall link her video below as well because G obviously does them a lot prettier than what I'm making these and then you get a pokey tool and I've got these lovely brads which look like screws some have got like a Phillips cross on and some are a straight line I think I got these from eBay or might have been even the local craft shop I'm not sure then we need a pokey tool and you put them on the circle and then try and eyeball the middle of the circle poke it through now because these brad legs are quite wide I've pushed the pokey tool right in to give it a wider opening then you just spread the legs out, press it down and make sure you can turn it. Okay. And then you get your envelope and you put some good strong glue on the underneath. I'm using Anita's glue, Anita's tacky PVA glue. You could use red liner tape or Fabri-Tac, whichever is a good strong glue of your choice. And put that in the middle. Make sure it sticks down. Just give it a minute to take. And then you just swing it round to open the envelope and swing it back over. So they're very easy to make. And then I've made a few of those and I've got them in my box ready to go. This is my box with my punch circles. Any bits of spare card I have, I just punch them into circles and keep them in here. And another quick one to do for a closure is just get two circles that you've already punched out. Glue them together to give them a bit of strength. You do want fairly sturdy um card for this you don't want anything flimsy so you do need card and not paper and glue two together get them even then let me just find an envelope Oops. get my box of bits of ephemera there's an envelope I've made up then with this I would just ink the edges you can do it out of matching um, paper 
and glue the paper onto the card give it some stability and then just put glue on the bottom half of it I do this a lot because it doesn't really add any bulk to your journal either then just stick the bottom half that you've glued onto your envelope make sure it can go over the flap okay like that and then you just pull the flap out and that's just a quick and easy way another one to do which uh, Joey does from Joey Duffy uh, does the bigger circle puts a brad through it puts it through the envelope as well so it's better doing before you've actually finished the envelope and then spread the legs inside and then that's a bit more secure and you can also put a, an eyelet here and give it some strength you know what I would do, let me just get another envelope to show you what I would do, is get one of my little circles. I thought this video was going to be about two minutes long, but it's going to end up lo longer than that. Get some coordinating paper. In fact, I've got some blue here. You know, I think we'll use the white. And I'm going to glue that on. One on the inside, there. Then I'm going to punch a hole with my crocodile in the middle of that circle. Near enough. Then get another circle, punch a hole in the middle of that. Ow, trap my skin on that one which isn't in the middle as it turns out, <sighs> never mind. Stick that over that hole. Then we can insert a grommet or an eyelet in there. Let me find a little one. Oops. Let's find a blue one, she says. You've probably all done these before. Put the eyelet in and set it with your crocodile or your eyelet setter. Okay. So that's on there. Then we want a bigger circle and I'm going to use two or three for this to give it some strength. I've got dark blue, light blue. Right, I'll use the light blue and a white. Two white ones. Give it, put three together to give it some stability. go with those there we go let's get these bits out of the way then with put a hole in the middle where's me mat put a hole in the middle of that and roughly where you want it to sit on your page which it's going to be tied round so it can go there I'm just going to put a little mark in there then I can see it oops falling on my knee there then I shall put a brad through there I use a lot of brads for my parchment work so this is a good way of using your single brads that, you, that don't match up because obviously when you're doing parchment work I need four usually and I've just got one odd blue one there so I'll use that one so put that through there and the feet don't go together through there and put it through your envelope 
and this is a bit awkward like I said because the envelope's already made so it's harder getting in so you just have to look inside and squeeze it open I'm trying my best to press it really flat now I would stick a piece of micropore tape in there just then things don't um, get caught on the brad this is just general um, surgical tape and that can just go inside over the legs of the brad and get it as flat as I can yeah just covers the legs of the brad up then things don't get caught when you're putting things in the envelope can you see in there and then you get a piece of twine tie it through your top brad I've got some nice blue twine here that'll do let's cut a piece of that off that through there that's not going to go because it's a smaller eyelet Let's see if I can poke it through there yeah there we go and that can just go round and then you can either Put it under the bigger circle and wrap it round. Okay, so that's another way. And I'm sure there's, well, there's loads more, I know there is. But just if you have a favourite way of fastening your envelopes, just leave me a link in a comment and I will go and have a look. Because I love doing things like this. I love making things like this. I can sit and do these on my tray at night and uh, get them all ready for when I need them, all stacked up in my box. So thanks for joining me today, and I hope that answers your question to the lady that left me a comment, and I shall see you all next time. Bye.